Hi everyone, scary I know, look at my little hat, isn't it lovely? But it keeps my little ears warm and I can have it up here if I don't need it for my ears. I love it. Anyway, hi everyone, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, the weather's been a little bit up and down over here in the UK. We have had loads of rain and now we've had more cold weather. Um, I don't mind when it's cold and dry, but when it's cold and wet or incredibly frosty so you fall over it's not so good but um anyway i'm coming to you today with i've got a bit of a problem that i need a bit of a hand with so i'm hoping somebody might be able to help me um and also i'm showing you a little bit about what uh, we have been doing the royal we uh, as in uh, often it's my ideas and and david uh, thankfully helps me out to do them but anyway so that's what's going on today so i'll share a bit of that with you so this area here used to be where we had two uh, water IBCs, which we used for uh, watering the garden, feeding the animals, all sorts of things like that. Um, and just for water in general, uh, obviously not drinking water, although we could use it as drinking water if we added these particular um, tablets. But I have to say that um, uh, after opening them up, uh, it made me a little bit worried that they tell you that you can drink them if you put these tablets in when they're all a bit yucky at the bottom but anyway um i suppose it must be okay to drink because that's what they say uh but anyway uh so the water the ibc has been taken away from there as you can see uh, i'm not one to waste stuff i'm one to use as much stuff as i can particularly plastic so this now is going to be a new potting area and um, it will be for seedlings as well. So all of my gummage can go underneath. Uh, it's at a good height for me, so off the ground so that I'm not having to bend over too much. Um, and then my seedlings can go up there and get uh, the sun in the summer. The sun comes, uh, it'll be in here midday-ish. So uh, it comes up to the right of here um, so over here and then it comes up and across the sky um, over towards the left and where the palette is facing that's sort of where the sun goes down so um, so that will work quite nicely for bringing on seedlings and things like that and also repurposing things um, underneath the actual bottom of the IBCs that I've cut off there's my son's old bed, so uh, we've used that as well. So everything that we can repurpose, we do. Um, also down here, I've got another little staging unit, which is just one of the IBCs that's been cut off and put down there. And then the bottom on top. So that gives me a little bit more of an area to put some uh, different seeds and things that don't mind the um, shade a little bit. So that's sort of where we are with the IBCs. I thought while we're here, I'll show you my onion seeds that I've got growing here. So they're all coming on okay. And I've got more in there. And I'm going to be planting uh, more again. Nope, there's nothing coming on in there yet. And underneath my fleece, there's nothing going on under there yet. Maybe I could do with a propagator, but we'll just see. We'll just see what happens with them. Just tuck them into bed and see what happens. So this is my half of IBC. Now the only thing that's left to do is to take the bars out at the bottom there so that um, I can cut the bottom off of the other IBC and then that can go in there as a raised bed. It's not as high as some of my other beds but it will be fine. What have you got? Dixie, what have you got? What have you got? Good girl, what have you got? Come on. Come on. So this is one of the IBCs. Uh, the top has been cut off. Um, and this top bit that went over has been cut off level with that. So it's safe. Uh, the same has happened with the bottom. So the IBC at the bottom is actually open. 
Now this one is going to be used as a hotbed. So um, at the moment I'm filling it up with um, the goat and the alpaca shelter um, hay and uh, manure and things like that uh, to build it right up to the top and then hopefully, uh, well I know it will drop down um, and then I'll fill it up again. Um, I'll start to cover it once it's it's not uh, too wet at the moment so I'll leave it open for a bit um, but then I'll cover it, uh, let it do its thing and then come early spring um, it should be nice and warm that I can put compost on the top and that should bring uh, my seeds on quite quickly and help to grow things a little bit quicker which will be ideal when uh, I'm trying to keep on top of feeding the animals as well particularly the chickens that are in lockdown so that's one of them so I just stand back and that works really well that's a whole uh, IBC um, my other ones are half this is another one. Now, I was using this to put uh, soil in and compost uh, from my bed, and I'll explain why. The bottom is still on it, that still needs to come off. But I thought that I'd be able to fill this up and it wouldn't be that hard. Um, and then I could move my other half of IBC to where I wanted it and then refill it up. I, I thought, mm, yeah, it won't be that hard. Um, well, it's the Royal Wee as well. And my poor husband, um, it's just too much. So now if I show you this bed, now if you uh, watch my channels, you will know that I moan profusely about my beds and I will explain why now. So I bought this bed. Actually, I bought one and then I bought two more um, and they're amazing. As you can see, they're robust, strong, sturdy. You can't you can't push that in. It's sturdy as you know. They are sturdy as. Uh, they've got all the soil compost in them. They haven't given at the sides or anything like that. Been put together as directions. All brilliant. Really nice and thick. Um, you know, I don't know whether you can see the thickness of that, but it is nice and thick. And my plants have been happy in there. They've grown fine in there. Oh, I'll just show you what's underneath while we're having a look. So these are field beans. And they're all coming up nicely. I've just covered them up because of the frost recently. They'd probably be okay. But I really want them to survive so that I can feed them to the animals and cut them off at the roots. So the roots go stay in the soil um, to deposit uh, the nitrogen, I think it is. Um, but I'll check on that. Now, I'll just bring you around to show you this bed so if you look it goes in in the middle and I'll do an end view as you can see over here it's all flopped in it's absolutely rubbish same company look at it so they weren't doing the other beds anymore, so I thought, oh, I'll order these. Rubbish. This one, just as bad, if not worse. Look at it. So I don't want these beds anymore. I've decided that I'm done with them because they're just an embarrassment. They just, you know, they're going in in the middle. I can't plant very well in them. Absolutely rubbish so my question is to you if i want them to be raised beds how can i without my husband killing himself with having to take all the soil out how can we do anything with them because we could we thought about cutting off the metal um, but then obviously all of the soil will fall down. Do we just let it fall and then build a raised bed around it? Do we just let it fall, move these IBCs into place and fill them up? I don't know what to do. I'm, to be fair, I'm, I've been incredibly disappointed with them since they came. Um, 
you know putting them together it takes a long time and to find out that they're like this and I actually contacted the company and they just weren't interested because it took us a while to put them together they weren't interested um, because I'd had them on the side I, I actually bought another one and I've used the sheets for other things so I think that they were about £100 each that's like £300 that's wasted and they just don't want to know so anyway I'm not so worried about that but what I am worried about is what I do now because we haven't got the energy to take all that out because it's just ridiculous what do we do? Any suggestions would be much appreciated in a way that we can do it and that it'll actually look okay, better than this, and um, will be serviceable for planting, but also my access to planting, because I've got um, osteoarthritis, and uh, two new hips waiting for two new knees, and I just can't get down to the bed so they need to be bendable height or chair sitable height so any suggestions at all while we were down here though i thought i would show you uh my garlic that's coming up so um i was like oh i put it in too deep but no it's all coming up so around the periphery of the bed is um elephant garlic and then inside there's normal garlic and there's still lots to come up i hope uh, but in here there is let's see if i can get you in i haven't got my glasses in so i don't even know what you're looking at there's no that's not one i did have some onion seeds but with the frost they might have taken them out but i have got more onion seeds growing so it's fine there were definitely some here the other day. Ah, what's that? There you go. There's one there, look. So, showing you a bit of grass. Ah. Here's one. Oh. Here's one. It's not looking very healthy now, though. I think the frost has upset it. Uh, and I've got couple then they're, they're not grass honest uh, and then there's that one there there were more the other day but maybe some of them have gone over because of the frost but we'll just have to wait and see so so it's all coming on now i had carrots and what i did i've taken them out of one of the beds that i want to move and I've just dug a trench here, put my carrots in there, took the tops off, put my carrots in there to try and keep them fresh. Because I always think they taste better when they come out of the ground. Now, if they start to rot, they start to rot. But um, I'd prefer to do that. I always think that if you take them out of the ground and you put them in bags, they never they start to um, dehydrate, I think. They just don't taste as nice. So that's what I've done to see uh, if... That will work. I don't know. I've never done it before. So we'll see. We'll see. And my little robin's over there waiting for something. Oh, he's gone again. Waiting for something to eat. So that's it for me for today. Any comments, advice would be much appreciated, especially with the bed situation. Um, any ideas of how to do that in the easiest way possible? um would be brilliant because there's a lot of earth and compost in there and everything um, and i do want to use it for growing this year if i possibly can so please if you do know of any ideas please share them i beg you um and that's it for me today thanks for watching wherever you are in the world thanks for thanks for giving me a watch a like and a subscribe would be brilliant um and press the bell if you want more content um, there will be different bits on here for animals, livestock, um, nothing horrible, there's no, uh, I won't be putting anything horrible on livestock. The only horrible bit might be for somebody is when I um, try and record the goat's uh, birth and the alpaca's birth, but knowing my luck they'll do it in private and I won't get any of it. But anyway, thanks for now, take care, bye bye.